Well, from discovering the stories behind key moments in Shakespeare's life to discovering a little-known artist in Western Norway now, a London gallery has managed to get its hands on 90 key pieces from Nikolai Astrup, a contemporary of better-known Norwegian artist Edvard Munch. Some of the paintings on display were taken from the walls of Norwegian homes where they'd hung since they'd bought them directly from the artist. Bell Lupton went to take a look. A vision of Western Norway, rarely seen by the rest of the world. Nikolai Astrup's work is virtually unknown outside Scandinavia. Now, a London gallery wants to change that, with the first major exhibition of his work outside Norway. What made you think, OK, this is an artist that needs to be brought to international light? Well, one, he's fantastic. I, I remember seeing the first display of his work in Bergen. I kind of recognised the kindred spirit. He works in, in landscape and it's immediately attractive. But there was an interesting story as well, and that's what I'm always looking for in an exhibition. You need the story, you need an interesting personality. Astrup trained as a painter in Europe, but he rejected Paris's fashionable impressionism and returned to the home of his clergyman father. In 1902, he chooses to come back and base himself back in Aarhus. I mean, back in the parsonage, for heaven's sake. And there he is, and he dedicates himself to painting this very particular slice of Western Norway. Fans of his work now seek out the home Astrup built for his young family, perched on a steep hill by a lake. His paintings repeat the view from this one place. In Norway, you can't look at a tree without thinking it's going to be a troll. You know, you just, I've lost the ability to look at a tree without thinking it's going to wink at me. And the mountains, it, trolls are wonderful creatures. They can be mountain-sized, they can be tree-sized, they can be like you and me. They are clearly forces of nature, and the feeling is that nature can wake up and bite you. Ghostly figures in nature, like the spectre of Edvard Munch, who painted at the same time. Why is it that we know, outside of Scandinavia, we know about Munch, but we don't know about Astra? It's an interesting question, but I think Munch was always really um, playing to an international audience. He comes in the 1890s with, the, with this psychological expressionism, you know, the idea of the scream is such a kind of Freudian idea, which of course psychoanalysis is, is blossoming at this point. Astrup, on the other hand, focused on a very small area, so in a way he made himself insular, however international his, his references were. <laughs> at the moment a resurgence in Scandinavian art? Is this part of a trend? It is clear that there is a tremendous interest in all things Scandinavian at the moment. We're clearly being invaded bit by bit. You know, it's all there. And I think maybe this is part of that. It's, it's a kind of gathering momentum. None of this is usually here, but tonight there's a red carpet welcome for the Queen of Norway, who's visiting the Dulwich Picture Gallery. And that's a sign of just how important Nikolai Astrup is to Norwegians. Nikolai Astrup is one of Norway's best known and much loved artists. And many of his works reflect the unique light of the Nordic night. Nikolai Astrup has contributed significantly to shaping our understanding of Norway. In that sense, the title of this exhibition is indeed fitting, Nikolai Astrup Painting Norway. And by painting Norway, the curators at this gallery hope to paint an unknown artist onto the international art scene. Bell Lupton, TRT World, London.